Hello and welcome back to Computational Genomics Lab. In this video, we will be downloading R, which is a statistical programming language that's very good at analysis and a tool that we will be using in this class quite a bit. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my browser. I use Google Chrome and I would suggest you do the same. Um, and in the search bar, I'm just going to do R software. Click on my first result, which is the R project for statistical computing, and it should take you to a web page that looks like this. So the first thing that I see on the left hand side is download CRAN. That is what we want to do. And we're going to click on it. It'll take you to a CRAN mirrors uh, page. Don't worry about mirrors too much, but basically the internet takes time to travel. Um, long distances. So what you should do is select the one that is closest to you. Since I am in Colorado, as you can see from the flag back here, I'm going to scroll down to the United States and I'm going to select this Oregon State University one. I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to choose download R for Mac OS. I'm going to just select the first one that I see because I have a silicone. And it's going to take a little bit of time to download. So don't worry if it does take you a little bit of time for download. It's just trying to get all of the good stuff onto your computer. Okay, so now that the file is downloaded, we want to actually install it on our computer. So just over here in my downloads area, I'm going to click on the package. It'll take me to this window. Um, we are downloading R4.3, so that all looks good up here. I'm going to hit continue. Um, you can read this if you'd like. Hit continue. Uh, this is just giving you information about the license that you're using. Agree to that. An installation type, we're just going to hit install. If you have a password protected computer, it will ask you to put that in. And I'm just going to hit OK. And ta-da! We have R downloaded onto our computer, which is super exciting. So I'm just going to get over here to be on my desktop and I can close out of this and close out of this and I also want to have it in my dock so I'm going to put it down here so it's just always accessible to me. So we talked about the terminal in a previous video now we can actually use it to learn some more about R. So the first thing that I want to do is just see that it's there and it'll actually open it up and I can start using it, but that'll be a later video. And we can also check to make sure that we have the right version. So remember how I said we wanted to download R4.3? I'm just going to put R and then type version and hit enter. And we can see right here that we do have R version 4.3.2.